Cricket was my one and only thing that I wanted to do and I was very fortunate to, uh, to be lucky and be good enough to actually get a contract and play it professionally for quite a, you know, quite a long time. When I finished my playing career I, w I wanted to you know, stay within cricket as I have done, been lucky enough to do that. Contacting uh, the Professional Cricketers Trust, they, they you know, ring, ring us up, an email, what can we do to help you? How are things with Jessica? Jessica's very much a daddy's girl. Her face lights up when Keith comes into the room and gives her cuddles and wrestles with her and it's, it's beautiful. So um, yeah, so Jessica is an amazing little girl. She is so brave and she's so strong and, um, and she really, really goes through the mill with her epilepsy and all of her different symptoms of her condition. Jessica was uh in 2014 diagnosed with mitochondrial disease. Her particular form of mitochondrial disease is called Lee syndrome. When they uh, called us in, called us into like the, the side room and you know, you know it's going to be serious then and we had a, you know, a couple of the doctors and consultants with us and that's where they told us the news about mitochondrial disease and I think in my naivety I said, well, how's this going to affect her when she's 30 or 35 or 25 or 20 years old? And then it was like a sledgehammer to the face when they sort of said, I don't think you realise that this is actually a life limiting condition. You know, the, and, I, and they sort of said, well, toddler years. And yeah, I, I kind of broke down then. You know, and I think that was a little, sorry. Her, her brain is not developed in the right way, so parts of her brain are dying, and as a result of that, it, it's sort of inhibiting certain aspects of her of her abilities. It's quite overwhelming because you kind of find yourself like you've got a cold, or you kind of you've hurt your back, and you think, oh, I don't know if I can get through the day, and you know, oh, it hurts. And then you kind of remember that Jessica's had 15 seizures, and she still smiles when when Keith comes in from work. When she was diagnosed, you know, you feel alone. Uh, what do you do? You come very become very insular um, and, it, and then it's a case of well, what do we do now you know who, who, who can help us uh, the professional cricket trust have been brilliant you know they, they, they've helped us out with certain items uh, help with uh, fi financial things to get away with Jessica as well is it a piece of equipment is it financial help is there anything else that you, we can do you know our ability to be able to um, financially look after Jessica and, and the extra cost that's involved with looking after someone who has a life limiting condition uh, made it difficult and the Professional Cricketers Trust have been fantastic, they've helped us out. We were supported with some funding for a rental of a piece of equipment called an eye gaze which is like a laptop screen which recognise like with a camera on the top that recognises where Jessica looks on the screen. It's kind of like a piece of kit that Stephen Hawking had and the Trust gave us half of that funding in order to be able to go and, and get that which was brilliant for Jessica. It's life-changing. Je Jessica being able to have an eye gaze system is life-changing for her and for us. I mean, we can't really communicate with Jessica very well. There's a chance in the future that we might be able to talk to her. I mean, that is, you just can't buy that stuff. And we're also as well looking into uh, getting a, uh, a new uh, disability buggy. Hopefully the Professionals Cricketers Trust are going to be able to uh, help fund that as well for Jessica. There are lots of current professional cricketers you know they could just say well you know you're not a professional cricketer anymore so we don't have to worry about you so much but I think the great thing about the professional cricketers trust is that they don't forget you're one big family just because you haven't played for in my case nearly sort of 16 years uh, that you're forgotten you know they continue to help you there's, there's a huge range of uh, you know, things that, the, that they can do for not just us, but a lot of other families and individuals as well. And to see these guys going out on the bike rides and doing events uh, to help raise money for the Professional Cricketers Trust is it's invaluable. It's, it's what, what makes everything work. Without them, the, things don't happen and this doesn't happen. You know, it's been brilliant. Thank, can't thank you and thank them enough. <laughs>